Hey folks, it's your old friend Duke here. Looking at the 268BH. It's a Passport 2022 model. I'm going to show you something right here in the back starting out. Uh, there's a door in the back. For, you can open this up. And the bunk is up right now. I folded it up and locked it in place. You can fit a kayak in here. A long kayak. Or you can put bicycles. Anything you want. It's, you, uh, use that for uh, storage. That's a real nice feature right there. Little door right there on the back of your passport. Carry your stuff. Just makes it convenient to have a little storage space. All right, another. Uh, this is your uh, your tank flush valve right there, or the you, where you hook up to flush your black water tank. There's your water heater right there. All standard stuff. There is the uh, key TV. That's where you've got satellite cable all in one there that blue thing that is it's pre-wired for satellite you don't have to drill any holes in the roof uh there is the uh outdoor shower hose and there is the hot and cold water outdoor shower water connections it's all conveniently located in this wet bay uh, with a little lip on it to keep the water from getting into your uh pass-through storage area there's the controls for your to raise and lower it conveniently uh lower the uh landing gear stabilizer jacks there's your uh, solar charge controller that's standard it's got a 200 watt solar panel up on the roof and uh, let's just take a see if I can see that from over here I don't know which side that's on but what it doesn't have is a battery in it right now so there's no battery but the lights are on right now this one has a uh, power tone jack so you're not going to be cranking anything. The stabilizers, the jack, it's all just quick, easy. Just push a button, makes it easy when you get to the campground. Uh, there's the solar panel right up there above the door, right there. 200 watts. There's the Air 360 wine guard. Uh, that thing, it is right there, up above there. That's where you can put a route, hook up a router, and have uh, Wi-Fi, and it has TV reception also. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Try to do some decent camera work here. So there is the door. I'm gonna go ahead and put this bunk down real quick. Uh, this is what we're looking at from the outside. So I'm gonna put this bunk down. Sorry about moving the camera. All right, there we go. You see these big old bunks here. Notice the lights are on. There's a window for each bunk. You've also got a uh, USB and 110 connection for each bunk. That's on each one of them. So that's really convenient for uh, uh, the kids or anybody using their phone. You got a little curtain there for privacy. You got relatives or somebody staying with you. It's a comfortable place to sleep. And then down here below the bunks, you can still use that for storage, extra stuff. You can put a dog kennel, dog crate cat bed, litter box, whatever it is that uh, is part of your camping experience make it work well for you. See the bathroom has got a nice size shower. You got a window there. There is your uh, medicine cabinet. So it's kind of standard stuff but it's well laid out. You can uh, very functional. And over here, okay so let me back up and slow down so you can see what's going on. We're gonna look at those four cabinets right there, right next to the fridge. That's the bathroom door right there. So this is uh, multifunctional. You can use it on the left side. That looks like it's just uh, mostly uh, pantry space. You can use it on the right side also for pantry space, but there is a uh, uh, rod there to hang coat hangers on. So you can hang up clothes. These shelves are adjustable. They just come right out actually. Uh, you can just take them out uh, then on the bottom you've got more space to put pantry items your guests can put the duffel bag they can put their uh, clothes in there so it's uh, very versatile look at that you've got a uh, hidden uh, residential hinge on there so these hinges are like you the kind you use in a house it's very solid it's well made so over here we have a u-shaped dinette so the beauty of the u-shaped dinette is that it works well as a as a dinette for several people 
You can take that table out and have several people sitting there if you've got guests visiting. You can also put that table down on that, uh, uh, make this all into a bed. And this is a bigger bed than just a regular booth dinette. So uh, uh, that's very functional if you have more people. And if you need somebody, another place to sleep, this is a trifold sofa right here. So you've got one, two, three, four adults that can sleep out here comfortably. And then uh, two on the queen, so that's six comfortably. It's ready to carry more than that because you know you can. Some people share one of those bunks, or uh, uh, you know, if kids can sleep together. So uh, I'm sitting on the bed now, looking out. You've got these double wide sliding doors. It really opens up the coach. So we're in the coach. It's not a claustro. It gives it more length and uh it's not like a just a wall there with both the double doors open i'm gonna go ahead and let you have a look and see what i'm talking about so the doors will close but you see the big opening there it just it just opens it up and uh while we're over here let's take a look there is the tv it's up high uh, directly across from the uh the seating area where you can sit right in front of the TV uh, so that's convenient and there's an arm on it if you want to angle it over towards the dining area if you're sitting over there having a beverage and enjoying uh, something to eat keeping up with the sports your soap operas you don't want to miss your soap operas whatever it is that you like to watch you see all that pantry space storage space you've got that leaf that folds up give you extra counter space that's very functional and if you've RV'd before, you know that's a really nice thing to have when you're getting food ready. Place to get stuff ready and still have the sink uh, without having to give up using the sink. This one has a 12 volt fridge. So uh, the beauty of this is we've got that solar panel up there, solar charge controller. Uh, you can run this fridge using the solar uh, and your batteries and it'll, it'll go. It, it should work if you're in good sunlight. Uh, you're driving down the road even on a cloudy day you get some solar you could add an extra battery just depending on what you're wanting to do so that this is the kitchen and living area you notice all the lights are on that's the solar power the sun's behind a cloud now and they're still going so you can see it's st they're fading a little bit but it's still collecting uh enough power there's no battery and you can see that the sun is not out right now. We're behind a cloud, so it's not as bright. And uh, the, the lights are still working. That just shows how well, how efficient that solar panel is. So you've got a queen-size bed that you can walk around on both sides. You have access to the bed. And this side's got a longer table here. You can put a CPAP machine. You can put your cat's bed. Uh, your chihuahua can sleep up there. Uh, uh, keep your dev devices and, and you can charge them uh, right there. You've got a USB and 110 outlet That is uh, that, that little sticker on there on both of those. It says it's an inverted outlet. So it's running off solar And also the battery So here is a uh, wardrobe on this side. There's another one of them over there And then you've got these storage cubbies here with the nice hardware all of them have that good hardware in there so the thing about the uh, solar, people think you can just drive down the road, trickle charging from your truck and run your fridge. Uh, real world, uh, if people don't generally mention it, it doesn't work. There's not enough juice coming through that little seven pin connector to keep up with your fridge. And you only find that out when you go on a long trip, you realize your battery is run down. So the solar keeps your battery from going down, it keeps your fridge going, there's a lot of benefits. And it's not just a solar panel uh, trickle charging into a battery. It's going into a solar charge controller and it is being used right now with no battery. So it's it's very uh, state-of-the-art system. And oh, I wanted to show you something in the oven here. What is cooking? Let's see. Got a little casserole here. Oh, look at this. It's my contact information on some high-tech graphics. See, you didn't know there was going to be a surprise. I, I baked a cake for you. Look at that. Just call me send me a text that's my number and what what I'll do for you is I'll be happy to work out a deal in any of the units that are listed on my channel or if you tell me what you're looking for say hey I've got 
Uh, I'm going to use it for camping. I'm going to use it for working. I've got two kids, uh, uh, and uh, me and my spouse, or we want something just for the two of us. Whatever you want, tell me what kind of truck you have, what you're going to do with it, where you're going to be going, and I will give you my recommendation on what is a good unit for you. Just narrow it down for you. I'll be happy to send you videos. We'll make if we can make a deal if you're happy with uh, everything, and then. Uh, We'll disclose all the terms, the conditions, the payments, the price, if you're paying cash, whatever, there's no extra fees, it's just the tax title license. We don't charge any extra freight or prep fees, we don't charge to uh, put propane in your, uh, uh, fill up propane and put a battery in there, there's no extra stuff to run up the fees. And then you can come out here, take a little camping trip, just drive down here, sign the paperwork, we'll do a walkthrough with you, spend a as much time as you need a couple hours is fine going through how everything works uh, we'll demonstrate everything does work and show you how it works inside and out and then uh, we'll invite you uh, I'll set up a reservation for you in our campground we have 18 full hookup spots we'll uh, reserve one for you and you can spend a few days at our campground do some urban camping in the Houston Texas area uh, you may not want to live here but it's a nice place to visit uh, I happen to live in this area, but uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. We got a lot of uh, local cuisine, different. Uh, if you like, uh, we got Chinatown. We got all kinds of Tex-Mex food. We've got uh, uh, Katie Mills Mall over here. There's world-class museums. Uh, just whatever it is that you like, you know, it's here. If you like fishing, there's places to look at uh, uh, bait, tackle, bass fishing rigs. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. So.